welcome back again it's a wild monday right guys tell me how are you enjoying this it's a wild monday <laughs> I've been really enjoying it since I ever started it. Let me know. Do you really like such a lovely, loud, wow, Monday <laughs> intro? Okay, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good and feeling good. Right. If you're new here, my name is Cheesy. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, it's so important to you. Click that button. Subscribe for me, please. You find it below this video, click on it and click on the bell icon beside it. By so doing, you stay connected and receive notification whenever I upload a new video. I upload video here every week. It was really hectic this week, but I still want to keep to my promise. No way, except God say, stop. That's when I will stop. And when I was thinking about what to really share i couldn't because i was busy and i couldn't hear my inner self speak to me the idea uh, the topic i could share because it was busy and noisy in my life this week okay so one day i wake up when was that on sunday i wake up and i had this i had this dream so while i was re reflecting on the dream i felt like hmm probably from my dream i could make up a topic so i don't know what we are going to talk uh, what we are going to call today's topic but it's simply going to be an encouragement because this happened this way and i don't know who is going through it in life who is being doing so much showing so much love working so much hard you felt alone i don't know anybody out there who felt alone who felt cheated betrayed who felt that the world has come to an end who felt that everything is not working right for them and everybody is not understanding how you are feeling let me tell you today's video is for you and i want to let you know too that as i am encouraging you guys my i'm also encouraging myself i listen to my videos sometimes and when i listen to what i say that lifts my spirit so much and i was like wow girl you got to do what you preach okay so when i find myself in that state as well listening to myself i get inspired and start pushing the way i am here also inspiring you guys to really carry on in life because i want to tell you you are feeling left alone you are feeling be um no one understands you no one is there to help you one thing i know for sure is this i know that in this life everybody got a story everybody got a little different even as i am looking this flawless and good guys i still have something inch pitching me on my back as well but you know what the difference is this that everybody are different some people have the grace to carry their pain well like nothing happened why some people don't have the grace to do that once they are in pain they alert everyone they want everybody to see they are in pain and they want to have the a helping hand instantly some people carry their pain alone they don't want anybody to know they can handle it themselves so this is this is what makes us different but it doesn't mean that some people are having much pain than another or some people are not having more for with other i don't know if i am making sense but this is what really i want to talk about one thing i want to say is this no matter what you're going through in life because i always say it this end of the year is really exciting the season period is a time we exchange gifts is a time we celebrate is a time we reflect is a time we do thanksgiving and so many things but at the same time there is this strong thing that keep coming every end of the year i don't know if you feel it i feel it as well keep asking you what have you achieved what have you done what have you not done look at your met look at what they're achieving look at what they have done look Look at you everything you are doing you are not doing well look at you you've been busy trying to please people but look at the people you're what pleasing they don't even care about you now this is a time you are going to tell that evil speaking tongues to be silenced okay that's the message for you today i want you to know something that you are not a failure the pressure we are in today are the things that make us to become our better self. If we don't get that push, if we don't get laughed at, if we are not denied, if people don't say no to us, if people don't reject our offer, how would we think about trying more to push more? If we have everything as we want it, 
I don't know how you are going to live your life. So the pressure you are going now, it is not there to kill you. I am going through a lot, to be honest. But I choose not to look at what I am going through. I choose to look at the cross. That is where it all ends. It says on the cross, that's where God defeated the devil and gave his children power and authority to march upon scorpion and march upon Satan and move on. But I know this journey is not an easy task because sometimes when we preach this positivity, when we preach this, um, these scriptures, it sounds so easy, but very, really hard. I was having a chat with a friend, a family who came here. I was like, why is it that wicked people, when they are trying to do something, boom, 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 what's their stats? They achieve their aim. Why is it that as a good people, when we are planning and setting things out, it takes longer time. And at the same time, we lose faith. We lose track. We even don't have confidence in ourselves. We lose everything. I got this an interesting answer, which really inspires me. It, the person gave me this example that, listen, how long does it take to build a house? How long does it take to lay a foundation and have a good house? Then the house that takes many years many months weeks or whatever to really put to stand just set fire on the house it takes few minutes for the house for the for the fire to really break the house down i was like wow that is true am i really speaking to somebody you see the journey is evil is so wide so open and so easy to go but the journey to good is very narrow the journey to charity love the journey to humanity the journey to serve god is very narrow that's why it says it's not an easy road we are traveling to heaven but there's a many da, 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 da. I've lost that song, guys. If you know it, help me, guys. So that is what I am saying, guys. Keep on doing the nice thing you are doing. Do not lose hope. The pressure we are in today is not really there to kill you. They are there to make you stronger. So I encourage you to be strong, okay? Keep on with your praying and fasting. Watch and pray because you know the saying that just before the breakthrough, that's when the battle is hottest. That's why Galatians 6, 9 says, and let us not be weary in well-due season, we shall reap if we wait. That means if you don't give up, if you don't give up in trusting what you're doing, trusting God, you will not fail definitely you will only partake the goodness of the Lord if only you wait upon him if only you have confidence in what you are doing if only you trust and obey steadfast to the end did you get that till the end don't give up no wonder Shakespeare often say much rain where than the marble true persistence so guys the last step could be your winning step. Hold on. Be still. Keep your faith high. Keep doing good. Keep loving. Keep being nice. Don't stop being nice because of the people that you've been nice to are turning back to hurt you, to pay you with evil. The only best reward which you should focus your mind when you are treating people nice and they're treating you bad is nothing but the reward from above. You would definitely get your reward. It mustn't be for the people that we're treating nice. It mustn't be for the people that you're expecting it. From nowhere, God will reward every bit of your good work. And you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't have faith in yourself, another person will not have faith in you. If you don't have faith that something good will come, nothing will come. Whatever you have in your mind is what you get. Whatever you have in your heart, is that's what you see. So hold on, stay positive, stay blessed. And that will be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you've not subscribed, subscribe. And feel free to share this video to your favorite social network and to friends and family. I appreciate your love and support. Bye.